What is going on my Cardano friends? It is your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be going over the recent Cardano news, what's going on, what's being built, and in general the progress being made in the Cardano ecosystem. First things first though, if you aren't already staking your ADA, please consider doing so and you can do so with the Jack stake pool to earn not only 4-5% back paid in ADA, but also Hosky rewards and for a very limited time if you stake within the next Basically 24 hours, you will be able to earn Sunday if you stake for the full epoch, so keep that in mind too. Now, first thing I want to talk about today is going to be the GitHub commits on Cardano and general progress that Cardano is making towards development. As you can see here, from a very standardized metric, not really going into any depth of what these commits are, Cardano has 3,200 commits this week and remains one of the top GitHub repositories in terms of the crypto slash blockchain space. So it's pretty impressive, right? Cardano is moving and with that comes a lot more than just internal backend developments, but also partnerships from the projects working on the front end and disclosing such. So first thing today, we have a partnership between World Mobile and Cody. Now, if you don't know, Cody is the payment app developing the DJ stablecoin, which honestly, we desperately re need right now a stablecoin on Cardano and also one that isn't USDC or Tether that could be potentially centralized and targeted to freeze people's assets, which is probably why we don't have a USDC on on Cardano because once it comes over to the platform, it's much less uh, likely that they can regulate it and stay within their boundaries. So DJet is coming, but with that we have ADA Pay for Cody, basically allowing allowing merchants to accept ADA for their goods and services. And with this, ADA Pay will be offered for retailers and merchants and enable its users to pay with ADA starting in Africa and expanding to all underdeveloped areas. So this is pretty huge. This does give a lot of backend infrastructure to the World Mobile team, and it makes sense. It is a very likely partnership, and it's also very nice to see the teams working together. Two pretty large projects on Cardano, and also two very important projects playing two key roles. One, banking the unbanked and connecting the unconnected, World Mobile, and Cody really delivering that decentralized payment applications and doing it in a way that is quick and easy for the normal consumer. Rome Mobile is going to be bringing millions of people over the coming years online and onto the Cardano blockchain. And with Ada Pay being offered to African retailers and merchants, they are going to be really connecting the Rome Mobile network and really be utilized by the people in these underdeveloped areas of the world. So far, Ada Pay has already been integrated with various African NGOs and charities, and so far it's processed nearly 100,000 ADA in donations, which is pretty awesome to see for just getting started. And on top of this, and on top of Koti Payments and DJ Stablecoin, I want to remind you, and I reminded this in yesterday's video, you cannot freeze a crypto wallet. Do not let your government think you can. Tell your friends, tell your family. Of course, there's exceptions to this. The off-ramps can be frozen. The exchanges can be frozen. If you have a wallet on exchange, this is not your wallet, okay? It is maybe a crypto wallet of some sort, but it really is an exchange wallet. I don't think a true crypto wallet is one on exchange, but it's one where you have the keys to. In that case, unless they get the keys, those letters that you have hidden wherever you have them, they are not going to be able to get into your wallet or freeze your funds or anything like that. The only thing they can really do is freeze off ramps to convert back to fiat and likely with more applications, privacy coins and things like Cody payments and ADA pay, there's going to be less chances for governments and anyone to freeze or seize your assets if you are in full control and being your own bank using cryptocurrencies. More news in Cardano and this is more related to NFTs, but I really think it does pertain to the whole ecosystem is multi-signature transactions and using them to mint NFTs and have NFT sales. This is pretty huge. I think we've needed this for a long, long time and some kind of standardization of it, not just one person doing it and not telling anyone else how they did it. Dirtbirds and many other projects have been putting together multi-signature transaction formats 
for minting NFTs with queues and ways that do not congest the blockchain nearly as much as traditionally when you mint NFTs on Cardano, you are sending AI to a random address. One, you're trusting that they're going to send it back with an NFT or send an NFT back or if they don't give you a refund. And two, you're, you're performing at least two transactions, one for the send and one for the return. With a multi-sig transaction, it's just one go. You send the ADA and in the same transaction, you're also getting the asset. So you're essentially performing a trade with the service you're minting from. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot less congested. And Dirtbirds has been leading the way in this, which they did yesterday, starting with their multi-signature mint for Derp Apes. I did pick up some myself. They look pretty cool. And I was very pleased with the process. And it's very nice to see the Cardano ecosystem coming together to build things that not only help everyone in the network, but also put less stress on the overall load of the blockchain. Another interesting article, or rather quote, that came into my vicinity this morning when reading up on some blogs was this quote from Ben Gertzel, the CEO and founder of a lot of artificial intelligence, cryptocurrencies, Singularity Nets, and many of their parent companies, and talking about why they picked Cardano to develop AI and also to develop the ERC-20 converter with the migration of Ethereum-based tokens or ERC-20 tokens from Ethereum to the Cardano blockchain and the process of converting them. Something they noted did keep my eye or did catch my ear, and that was this. Looking through Hydra math and code definitely reminds me why we've chosen Cardano as a partner. This stuff is built like a spacecraft that has to keep running smoothly with only minor adjustments in harsh and unpredictable conditions. Whereas some other well-known blockchains, I'd have to say, are built more like a 1971 Ford Pinto. So, basically saying Cardano is ahead of the game. Cardano is doing things in an approach that is much different to the old car from 50 years ago. There is a lot going on here that many people don't realize, I think, and it does continue to make me more and more convicted in the blockchain and in Cardano as a whole. So that's the quote of the day. Now I want to look at our favorite metric lately, and that is Cardano TVL. The TVL has been going up, of course, and right now we are at 186 million. It's impressive, okay? Sunday Swap does have a lot of dominance here, but we only have five platforms tracking TVL, and really most of them are Sunday Swap and Meld right now, okay? So it is impressive, right? It's fun to look at this metric. I'm not going to look at it every day, every video, but I do like keeping an eye on it because it's interesting to see how much liquidity is being locked in the protocol and 200 million out of right now a 33 billion market cap is actually a lot of capital. And I do think this number will go up as time rises, obviously, and especially as we have liquid finance coming into Cardano on mainnet at some point this year, hopefully, and offering three, four X yields. Those will have a lot of total value locked. I know they will have a lot of my total value locked, and I'm excited to see everything coming as always for the Cardano blockchain. And this number in my guesstimates will reach far, far greater than 500 million by the end of the year. And I think it could easily hit a billion if we see even more protocols like liquid finance and other lending protocols launch on the Cardano blockchain by the end of quarter four in this year. Of course, though, that's all speculation because after all, we all thought Bitcoin was going to 100K at the end of 2021 and Cardano was going to $10. So we don't know what's going to happen. That's your reminder for the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're excited for what's to come. I know I am. And please subscribe. Stay with the Jack Steak Pool if you enjoyed the videos. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.